and share screen. All right. And there's our brand new, beautiful page seven. There we are. Evan and Ralph. And we got as far as, 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 as. Uh, we are looking at the hieratic from line three. Um, wait, I lost my place. Line three uh, after on. One of the ons, yeah. I think the last thing I remember was Peter pointing out. Yeah, that. so line point. three after the on, um, starting with uh, Iri se, looking at the hieratic and then picking up translation at the end of the line with you se. Okay, great, all right. So hieratic, was there anything? Um, Iris Heperse, I guess, her form. Um, this is a bit messy after the cheper. I mean, diagonal and a little little book roll underneath, vertical plural stroke, which I think is just a, a collective noun here, her form, um, into a beautiful girl. I mean, this is all familiar. Her nicely spelled out. Um, ich rei before me, I guess, or in front of me or towards me. Okay. Um, yeah. Did we have that part yet with the Esecher J9 or Jod9? That's where we're picking up. Okay. All right. I think last time we said um, next one goes to goes to Georg. So do you want it? All right. Yeah, I can try. Yeah. So we are at Yuse, right? So let me see where am I? Okay, so you said Jet and E. Um, so she said to me, um, Ir ink unu e em hemd em, uh, well, and hem em, and what, what, how does it read? So that's with, right? So MD. That's correct. MD, MD, where, um, meal or something? Men, menu, 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 mm -hmm. menu. Um, so that is, um, I think the the beginning we said something like, as for me, I, and so on, like 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 said said something like that before, didn't he? No, so as for me, I existed as a wife of, like a wife with, so a wife of a herdsman. So I was a wife of a herdsman, essentially, I'd say. No. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you have um, moot, so he died. Right. Mm -hmm. You, no. You ye um messet an f sa chai um and so there's not really an end is there was was just end or but I bore him a son mm -hmm. right one male son yep uh huh great mm -hmm. let's see want to go on a bit um maybe someone else <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who wants to take it? I could. Before we go on, how are we supposed to understand the sequence here? Like all these EUs, like are they all circumstantial? Like, yeah, I think it's a six-year-old and was a wife of a of a herdsman, and he died, and I bore him a, a male son. I mean, you're right, and in, in all likelihood the. Uh, no, I mean, there's a nine months delay, so technically, yeah, he could have died while he was pregnant, but but me, it feels like maybe not. I think it's more like a, I mean, Seth is blurting all this out in front of Reha Rachti, right? So I think it's just he's in an express, exasperated fashion relating everything that has just happened to him. That just <laughs> that's how I take it. 
Makes sense, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's like they don't really um, order the tenses so strictly as we would in like um, Germanic languages or Romanic, I suppose. Um, so they don't have like a, a past participle or something like he died, but I but I had borne him a son or something. No, I think the essence is just like I I had a husband who died. But I bore him a son before I bore. I had son with him, mm. isn't it? Right. And I the so. tense is probably not no not as important than for them because it just makes sense. Right. Yeah, I think the same. I mean, these are like lots of end statements in my mind. Like this is true, yeah. and this is true, and the next one is also true. Yeah. Um, yeah. If I think of Chinese, like they don't really have tenses as such so much either. It's also like mostly you take it from the context. Right, right, right. So. Right. All right. Should we go on? Yeah, I think that's that's what I was wondering. Yeah. That's interesting, right? I mean, in, in Coptic, it's a circumstantial then, um, our little A. Um, and now, I'm, I don't know, I'm not far enough in Middle Egyptian, but I really wonder, we always make this this big thing about it is the case in Middle Egyptian, like that helping translation. And I wonder, this is just so um, unimportant in late Egyptian, right? It's just like a filler and that you, and but that you throw in there in the sentence. Well, yeah, it feels a lot more common, I think, than what I remember of Middle Egyptian. I don't know. Like here. I mean, like, it's, it's in every sentence in, in the narrative, you're right. Yeah. But but I think you're right, it's technically circumstantial, but the, the effect is like, this is not a temporal order. This is just a list of things that are true right. at this point in time. Comma. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's continue with the next comma. No volunteers? Take it. All right. UF MSA Nehai Iaut N Pai F Eat. So, um, and he uh, was in charge of some cattle of his father. Right. Of his father's. Exactly. Of his father. So this must be some kind of idiomatic expression then to look after, I guess we would say in English. Um, we saw it. Yeah, I think we saw it on the last page of the page before this exact. Well, he's basically uh -huh. re restating everything that she said on the last page. And I think she said it the same way. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 This page is the last page. Right. Excellent. In a way it is, isn't it? But it's it's a nice uh, repeat. Isn't it? I hope the <laughs> next page is Prey Harati saying, "So Seth came to me and he told me that uh, ISIS right. came to him and she said to him." And that's yeah, just the I whole next, the next ten pages of the story. It, it, it reminds me. It's it reminds me on like Arabian Nights or so. There are lots of those um, fairy tales where the same phrase is repeated exactly again. Um, as if we would have forgotten also as the reader, but no, the whole thing is repeated again. No. Yeah. I think it's yeah. really Whatever. narrative. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah. No, I was just going to say, I think this is really like not for reading, but but storytelling kind of, kind of stories. I mean, you have it, for example, in The Shipwrecked Sailor, there's like a whole big paragraph, which is repeated almost verbatim. Um, in like in the at the end of the first half of the story. And then I'm not sure, Iliad, do we have such things as well? I mean, at least in the Iliad, you have like a lot of, lot of um, maybe not direct repetitions, but certain gods are always introduced or certain people are always introduced with the same, same. Um, there are fixed phrases in the Iliad. Fixed phrases, yeah. And the, yeah. Part of the argument is helps you fill in the meter while you're thinking about what you're going to say next. It was done as oral, oral composition, but but it doesn't have complete sequences that repeat. Like that's that's very different, I think, from the Egyptian literature. That 
Hmm. The Iliad is a story where things are going on, but the characters don't know they're in a story. True, true, true. You're right. True. The, the only thing you have there is those those repetitive, not repetitive, but those fixed phrases. I think that's yeah, the, the fixed phrases, the epithets, the right. When Eos the was those, those kind of fingers, etc. Like yeah. <laughs> and I'm thinking though the other thing is you're right. It fills in the meter. Um, it also gives you like some time as a storyteller to basically recap and think what you're going to say next. I also think though for the audience when they hear that you sort of already know what's coming. It's like when you have heard a story as a child and you just want to hear it again because it feels familiar and you like it. Um, yeah. yeah, it's um, almost like in a song, a riff, like the uh, refrain in a song, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Say, say that again, Georg, I didn't catch it. I think it's like a refrain. Is it that English? No, I don't know. Refrain, refrain in English. Yeah, yeah, chorus refrain. or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. It is also a little bit funny because we just heard all of this information and he's now repeating it almost word for word. It's, That's a good point. It's, 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 char it's characterizing Seth is, is not right. able to hold this whole thing. Like yeah. he can't summarize. He has to say it as it was or he'll forget what she said. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> actually I can imagine it quite playing out quite nicely if we have it as a play. No, she tells yeah. that and then Seth goes to um, Pareok Horakti and then repeats everything. Yeah. Which is not very interesting. I forgot how it how that the how the narrative goes on that he's gonna say, but I think he doesn't embellish in, a, in any way, shape, or form. He actually repeats it verbatim and not trying to like put his own spin on it. Yeah, yeah. he doesn't tailor it to his advantage at all. Right. No, right. I think like, a little bit later he says a little bit more that we haven't heard before. Like somewhere if I re remember right, because uh, I had done a little bit. Definitely the part about the bread, like one line down that I see here, but we'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> um, we, one quick call out this year is Hoine in Coptic, some. Um, the, the, na, oh. So that's our, our indefinite <laughs> in, uh, in Coptic, which is nice. Can you write that underneath it? Uh, can I? <laughs> Let's see. I think you spell it, Ralph, keep me honest. I think you spell it like this. Hoine. Okay. That thing. Yes. The hyena. Oh, oh, you can also just spell it hen. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's the full version, I think. Hyena, hen, sure. yeah. Hen would be the, probably the normal there, but. Yeah, the, the I can't remember, is the, is that the plural or is that just the feminine version? The hoine? Um, uh, I thought it was just the more, the more stressed version, like with, with all the vowels spelled mm -hmm. out. The hoine is like, how do I, like, like, sort of like pay and pay, I thought, but I could be wrong. I don't think it has yeah, gender. It. Okay. Well, it's easy to check. <laughs> True, we can have a quick look. So I've seen Hen at this point, but I haven't seen Hoine at this point. So that'll be exciting. So I'm gonna look forward to it. While we're searching, I can also get the- Is that the German equivalent? Yes. Because sometimes Coptic dictionary works better than German, believe it or not. Oh, wow, nice. So Hoine is, is the plural substantive, okay. Oh, it's a, oh, okay. I didn't know that. So, Hren is, is as. Hren is the article. Is the article, and Hren is, is the substantive, uh, substantive. Okay, that makes sense. Some said, ah, Pejaude Enchi Hoine. So, when you want to make it nominalize that it, it becomes Hoine. And Hren is just the article. That makes sense. Ha, huh, very cool. Well, Which is a fun statement, even of itself. <laughs> Which is what I'm doing? No, I was just looking at the at the statement there. Who is this person even? <laughs> oh yeah, right. <laughs> Wait yes. for conversation. I mean, that's Pequa. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Who is this one? <laughs> Who even is this person? So yeah, I think that's it here grammatically.
we have it. Um, okay, who wants the next? Let's see, that is seven five. Indeed. Mm -hmm. That is, we stopped with, did we do the one man? Let's see, I think we start with you, right? Mm -hmm. You, Wa, Remich, Jer Jer. And Ramsey says that there should be a hair before the ka. Um, e, e, he, he, kind of er, and this is part of pei. So um, I guess then a man, a stranger, a foreigner lodged or stayed uh, pei. Uh, in my ehi stable, mm -hmm. and a er ehi with my, and then we'll hear that it's her son on the next line. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, yeah. I, I like how Seth can, like the, the pronoun, the personal pronouns in the quote are still feminine, even though like you couldn't hear that. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> True. I mean, you would exactly. think the, the pronunciation was exactly the same. Um, at least we have no yeah. indication to the, the contrary. So, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's probably, probably mainly for the reader that we just know, like, um, it's she talking. It's yeah, like, like in Chinese, the ta, the so there's no difference yeah. between ta, but then if it's a woman, you write it feminine, but if it's a man, you write it uh, masculine. Mm -hmm. I guess. I guess that's what I was wondering too. There's no vowel sound difference that we know of. Not that we know of, no. And I mean, um, the closest relative, I guess, well, closest, okay, then that's a strong statement, but <laughs> the best studied relatives of the Semitic languages are just E, right? Or for the first singular, um, with no, no distinction. Um, so, and also they get it wrong so often. Um, I would think yeah. there's if no there pronunciation to... difference. We would see fewer mistakes there. Maybe, huh? You'd think. Exactly. Exactly. I didn't look this word up. Kai, Kai, uh, what does it mean again? I looked it up. Um, it means a bunch of different things, of course, but one of them is approach. Okay. All right. So a strange man or strange person approached. Yeah, I'm talking about getting it wrong. This year's definitely. And right. I also found it as take lodging. Mm. Yeah, if you go to Ramsey, you because can see I think that's what that's, that's how it. we translated before, also, didn't we? Like because yeah. we have the stable, and like he took lodging in my stable, mm. like he stayed in my stable, essentially. Mm hmm. Interesting. Did we? If you go over to Ramsey's, you can see kind of. We did, but they that was a different word. That time they used hems. He stayed in the oh, stable. Oh, okay. okay. Sitting down in the stable, yeah. But it does make sense as take lodging in. This is on- Because he, he didn't approach with her son. And this is saying he, Kai, with my son. Yeah. So he lodged there with my son makes more yeah. sense. He moved yeah. in temporarily. Yeah. Yeah. So if you go back to 50, Aurelio, Rather than fifty-one, yeah, on that page. I'm on my way. Mm -hmm. Maybe here yeah, somewhere, right? Here we go. Well, here he says. Here they say approach. Approach. Mm -hmm. Right, but then if you go down to the full kind of idiomatic translation, you can see feet all day. Feet all oh my table. <laughs> Jeez. Which I think is large, but could be wrong. Yeah, could be, huh? But that seems to be more like a, that seems to be the interpretation of the uh, Belgium French translators. I mean, one thing I would call out is you have two legs in here. I mean, one, one single yeah. leg. Uh, True, yeah. So Usually that, for verbs of motion, right? I think it's a word of motion. Yeah. Okay. All right. Want to bring it home? I think there was one tiny bit left at the bottom. Yeah, so the, the my crosses over on six, seven. Uh, and so, yeah, so 
Uh, I, my son, I gave, okay, so that would be U, E, D, N, F, and then that is Aku. So I gave to him some food. Is that bread? Wait. It's Wait. cooked for the week. Week. Oh, bread. Okay. Is that right? Bread? Aku, yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. Should we look at okay. that? I had a couple questions, questions about mm -hmm. hieratic. So if you look at the beginning of line six, seven, since we're, I'm sorry, seven, six, since we're just there, what do you think is going on with the, the lady glyph? So that would be what? Lady starts at B or? Yeah, B1. 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 Okay. B1. Um, so there's one at the end of my, and then there's one in the UE. Do you think mm -hmm. it's just a, an issue with ink? One seems well connected and the other does not seem entirely well connected. So you can see just right. Like right. So this one's connected. Mm -hmm. And then this one over here seems like it's having. To me, it just looks like it's smudged. Yeah. Like if I if you zoom in a bunch. Okay. Like I agree at the scale, it just looks like it's messy. But um, to me, it just looks like it's smudged. And then there's a loop from the child glyph on the line below coming up right almost to uh, touch oh, it. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So the arm of the child is reaching up to the mother, haha. -ha. But nice. uh, <laughs> I don't think that's intentional. But uh, no. but that's why it looks so messy here. Is there's an extra loop coming from the line below, and then the whole B one is smeared, like it got brushed or scraped or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's same. what it looks like to me, anyway. Mm, but I think that's it. Um, I would have otherwise, they're almost exactly the same shape. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, yeah. The, the, oh, D thing here. Why does it have a person on the knees? Gardner makes a comment there. He says that that was written wrongly. It should be a T. Should be a T. Just a oh. mistake. Maybe it's just like quickly and then, no? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's exactly to the point earlier. I mean, they do it when, when they remember, but not consistently. And. Mm. If anything, more often than not, they seem to default to the male, male version. Although it can go the other way around. Um, like in the tale of the two brothers, it's constantly all over the place. It's always the, always the wrong one, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, that is interesting. Sorry to jump ahead on that line. We can go back to the next one, or the, bat, the past line. Well, let's see, do we have anything? Where did we start? We started somewhere up uh, here. Line three, yep. Lots of real estate, love it. Um, <laughs> wanted to call out the little her here. That's elegant, I haven't seen that before, the, the way he does that. I mean, it's totally understandable what he does. It's just, hmm, looks nice. Um, Jetnai Ir Anok. This is all super familiar, I think, by now. The um, the hum in Hime is written without the vertical stroke. It's just like a... yeah. Like a cup, sort of. Um, MD, what? Wow. This one's interesting. The menu. I wouldn't have guessed. Yeah. I, did we look at that? I thought we looked at that, but. I think we did. I have zero recollection, so might as well. Uh, many, many? No. no. Men. They're going to make me look up the glyph number. Ish. Okay. Um, be that way. Um, <laughs> huh? All right. Which of the many hundred? God. A33, maybe? A33, I don't see it yet, but I'll just wow. go. That was fast, good job, bro. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> I was still looking with uh, 
I was still looking at the pig farmer further down here. Or the, the <laughs> elephant farmer, wow. the pig deal rider. Pig farmer is good. I like the alligator farmer. Yeah, right. <laughs> I guess I guess they would raise alligators for like some. The hippo is cute. Bronze Age paddleboarding. <laughs> um, in New York. <laughs> Before there was dinosaurs, right? And the, and the Neolithic right. wing. <laughs> there is an exhibition in New York City right now for the Morgan Library. Um, female Ooh. poet. Uh, what's her name again? In Heduana. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. yeah. And um, Akkadian, but wrote in Sumerian. Um, I mean, she, wow. She was the daughter of an Akkadian king, but in any case, Sargon, uh, in any case, uh, they have lots of those cylinder seals with uh, depictions of Ishtar because of Ishtar cult and whatnot. Um, yeah. And one of them actually has a scene where Ishtar has a lion before pulling a plow, before her pulling a plow. So it's basically lion farming in a way, which is kind of kind of cool. Awesome. Wow. That's cool. That was mess with Ishtar. Right. Uh, E36, is it? No, not E36. A36? 33. 33. Eh? Hmm. That's weird. Really? Nothing at all. Huh. Nothing at all. That's amazing. A32 is there. A32 is the frenetically dancing man. Huh. A34. Dang. What kind of readings does this thing have? A32, you said. Maybe we can look at the original page for A32 and see what's next to it. Oh, but they won't be in order, never mind. Oh, wait. 32 is, is this guy. Would have to be something else, anyways. Um, we could just open the page. With the code in it, we could see because I I know that I put it in by glyph number because yeah, that's a good call. then yeah. we could just see what it is because I definitely looked it up but I can't remember where it was. Now, do I remember how to get there? That's not it. What's the page number again? Tans ah, it's under Tanzeva, isn't it? There we go. And say if it could help. Um, contending so far as itself. <laughs> nice move. Um, this way? No. Do you want github.com? Not, yeah, there you go. So here's a general question. Um, when you look at the HTML, does it show uh, all the glyph codes? Unfortunately, not. It's just an image. Okay. okay. You have to look at the source to get the thing. So MDC pages. Down one. Or hieratic lines. Okay. Page. Oh, we have page eight. Page nine. Oh, that's, wow. the, that's the hieratic, not the hieroglyphic. Okay. This is just, this. it's not going to be here, though. The Gardner codes aren't going to be here. No, you're right. Where are those? These are just images. It needs to be the MDC pages. Yeah. Section. So how do I do that? Back one, go back, back. Okay, so go. right under higher yeah, identifies yeah. NDC pages. Gotcha. Thank you. And then what line is that? Um, line uh, four. Line four. Okay, about so a third of the way over. A thirty-three D. There you go. A thirty-three D. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Um, oh, wait, but we said, didn't we just try A33? Yep. Yes, we did. Okay. All right. Let's try something else then. At least this one shows you what it has. Ooh, and it nice. doesn't have A33. Hey. Uh, <laughs> wow. I guess we're too, too niche. So. Yeah, I guess you just have to know. We yeah. broke it. <laughs> We broke it. <laughs> Doesn't <laughs> seem like that extraordinary a hieroglyph either. Like it's no. Didn't we have this glyph before? 
Yeah, we we had the herdsman before. We had this word before. We had so, the word before. Yeah, a few lines back. Yeah. So, that was when, it the... when uh when when uh Jesus was talking talking about Right. Let's look at that. Um I think probably twice because she was talking to the to the um ferryman also. And then I don't know if she talked about her husband though. I think just uh, about page six, six point nine. eight. Yes, yeah, six eight. Uh near the, the, end. At the end of the line. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Same glyph. Same that's glyph. that's A thirty three. I used A thirty three D because that's what Gardner had, but it's just right. a variation of the same thing. Ah, uh, nice. Okay. I have no idea how we did it because yeah, it's not there. Unless we found it in Merla itself. I guess I'll have to rewatch our video, what we <laughs> mm. I don't know. Do we want to go deeper down the rabbit hole or just accept it? <laughs> Random I think word. It's fine. It looks kind of like Elvish. Well, well, when we come across it again, we'll just go down this rabbit hole again. That's your, I'm fully aligned. Let's do that. Looks like a Bohiric bee in a way. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. Maniu. A shepherd in a shepherd in, in Coptic is a man iso. I think that's the same word. I mean, not oh. so, that's just sheep, but the man. So that's a way how to remember. That's that's how I remember how to pronounce this thing because it doesn't give you any indication um, as to how it should be pronounced, right? Not a single phonetic complement. Just mm, right, right. Just a cast guy and lots of slashes. Just a so, stick and a cow. So, <laughs> this is all made up by ISIS, right? This has no relation to whatever reality is in this. Nope. Mythical. Yeah. Nope. Okay. yeah. Just well, just make it's know. metaphorical, right? Like her son is Horus. He's the right, herdsman right. of the country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The common people are cows. A herdsman of men. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Okie doke. So let's see. We were here. We talked about this one. And however you write that, I guess, like this, this. This, this, or this, this. That part I still haven't figured out. Whenever you have the the shape of the of the place, like set or like an ISIS, how do you actually do that? One day I'll find it, but I, I don't know yet. I would think tuck, tuck just logically, but who knows? Um, the cow is a little bit messed up here. Um, yeah. That, that short look is. Oof. Sorry. Should look almost like a like a cobra D, and then with like a book roll under it. That's the shape that we've, we've arrived at in like nineteen start. And and the Z two underneath, like the pearl strokes, is weird too. It, yeah, it's very flat. It's just squishing that in. Hmm. Then F or E of mood. That part is clear. It's just an M ligature with a T. Then the the desk stick. Um, <laughs> here, this one's tricky. If you look at that, first another one, great band name. Go again. Another great band name. Death stick, prophetic code. Yeah. Um, this one here is miss the whole thing. I mean, it often is something like that, where it sort of looks like. So this is not a determinative stroke or something that is just the, the right hand side of mess. And then he doesn't want to write the pregnant lady. So he just does this and adds some little plural stroke to it. Oh, wait, no, it, maybe this is for people because wait, this is the verb, right? Why does he spell that with plural strokes? It must be interference from the word for children, I guess, because Otherwise, why plural stroke doesn't make any sense. This is a verb here. Yeah, definitely a verb. Then, yeah, or usual one, nicely written. Um, this one we've talked about before, the chai, or, or the chai, I should say. 
just basically an olive with a stroke across. Anything else? Sa we've talked about. Na we've talked about. Wood ligature. Um, this one I think we've talked about, like the the flying squirrel, what it looks yeah. like. That's the, the earlier flying squirrel video. I love it. It's so cool. Very descriptive. <laughs> that's not going to go away. That's going to become a thing. Um, my legacy. <laughs> it's my contribution to the field. <laughs> awesome contribution. Then, yeah, whatever that this little man here is. One of the many. I mean, I wonder why Jed, Jed, or Dead, Dead would have this kind of man in adoration. I let it go. The B is a bit better to see a few lines down. I would say let's, let's cover it then. Essentially, what it always is, is like this is your normal B. And then when you want to write the, the um, like bent leg, the red glyph, it looks like this. It has like a little extra on top. And here it's a bit hard to see because the bottom part is kind of kind of misshapen, but it comes two more lines down. I think there's another version, so we can look at it then. Um, he's ligaturing the legs of the R. Anything else? Um, my stable, nothing exciting here. Nothing special here. Either. It's just all very elegantly and nicely written. The arc is fantastic. And it has some extra, it has some fe feathers this time on the on the head. Just kind of nice. He didn't do that before. Uh, cool. Yeah. And he's ligaturing that as well because he can. Okay, can we jump ahead to one word? Sure. So in the in the same line in the red text. Uh, the hairy you so probably the word for day, maybe. I had a hard time believing that the thing next to the H was an R. Yeah, this one here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take their word for it. Um, I think it must be one of those it can't be anything else. With like the yeah. H is very clear. I wouldn't say the sun is clear, but. There aren't that many words with H in, with the first H in them. Right, right. It's definitely Heru or Herowe. Wait, M um, Mhet. That should be Herowe. Um so so plural, um days. So what would we expect? Yeah, I mean it's gotta be the R, but it just bears no resemblance to what I associate cars with. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the way that that looks is my perspective. Um, this is clearly an H. Okay, that part is, is fine. This looks like either a U or a T. T doesn't make sense, so you'd think it's a U. Right. But it does look like a T because the U goes like like the left one usually, a little bit to the to the left, doesn't it? And the hook is usually the T. Like the two looks exactly the same. Right. Yeah, absolutely right. But I think a little just the context that he just does it a weird way. Yeah. We did see a weird ligature though with the R. Like, what was that? Like, U R or something or T R? Uh, where also like really just looked like a little stroke with little serifs on it. Hmm. That maybe it. Uh, I mean, honestly, at this point. Just from this is also a very this is like a common formula basically after after in this case many days actually um, mm -hmm. it's kind of weird you wouldn't think that this would the situation would have been going on for so long but this appears in fairy tales like mm -hmm. and then after many days blah 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 this and that happened so um, I think at this I point I wish we could see an example of this word in black ink it would be a little easier to see yeah. Could, I'm thinking if you made two vertical strokes here, it would be just as good, <laughs> honestly. 
Right, yeah. Well, um, the rationale for red is just that they're moving to the next part of the story. Yeah, because I mean, red is always new line, right? It's essentially the equivalent of our of our full stop. Instead of going full stop here, whenever you want to pause, you're basically starting in red. Maybe um, a paragraph break or something. Paragraph sure. break. Yeah. Mm. Sure. Well, like a bolded initial and or something like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we're already halfway through that sentence. Who wants to take it home? I mean, I can take it since <laughs> I started on it. So, her ear and head, her whole kenu, her sanen, when in a kai. Pakai, okay, we need some help with this one. Pakai, her, her jet in Pasheri, a ye, I would add an R here, a ye, so that's what I'm saying, a ye, I mean, U E R, Kenkenek, um, M to Nechem, Nechem na Iaud, in Pike or in peck, yod. Um, and to, and to, ah, and to with plural strokes. Heper md, heref her, jet in pasheri, in pasheri, in Nesni. Okay, the end is interesting. Let's get to that in a moment. So, where were we? Red part. Heri im ched, hero kenu, hersa nen. So, um, after many days, basically, um, no. Yeah, and then many days after that, basically, hersa uh, nen, uh, after these things happened. Um, when in pa kai, I apologize. Does anybody look this one up? What park? Yeah, it's it's like the the traveler. Oh, the traveler. So the strange. She's referring back to the, the stranger who's coming by to visit. Yeah. Yeah. And is the how does that break down? Is that is that? It, um, is that it's the like the verb that we had before, isn't it? It's almost exactly like the verb before. They yeah. clearly are derived so from each other. They have to belong together. So if it's the first one is to what was it to to come or to approach, uh, yeah. approach yeah. then it's essentially the approacher, so to yeah. speak, the one yeah. that has approached the comer. I yeah. mean, it's funny because Lesko transcribes them like they're written exactly the same, but they transcribe the W on the noun version like it's been substantivized. And if you look it up in Lesko, it's actually cur curry. He spells it um, Q R or dotted K. -R oh, Q R I. Yeah. So it's a totally different oh. word than the other one, which he transcribes K uh, Q A. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a little bit hard to look up, actually. So he has an extra R in there that we don't have. Mm -hmm. huh. That's something. It does does Ramses have that? I guess not. I'm not sure. Good luck. Yeah, curry is often spelled with a yeah. lion. Bingo. Yeah. Oh wait, but they also have the they have it in the verb too. Oh yeah. Huh. There's hmm. something going on here. Yep. They say the vagabond. <laughs> okay. That I did it. So hawk, page two ninety five. I don't know if that's interesting. Say that again. I'm sorry. Let's go cites Hawk, page 295. Oh. Hoch. How do you, you say his name? Yeah, Hoch. Mm. Does anybody have that? I don't know. I can go uh, get it. Actually, yeah. Perhaps it's closer. <laughs> yep. <laughs> The binding is so beautiful. It's such an attractive volume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Is that right? 250 what? I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, I was off. Go and get one more opinion in the meantime. What's the word again? Uh, Cur curry. Hmm? Oh. That doesn't make sense because I'm in W using hot. Okay. Okay. Kaui, the landfremde vagabund, compare to the variant curry, Wörter Buch 59. Hmm. Okay. So the the stranger, comma, vagabond. Hmm. Anything there with hoch? I mean, hoch, 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 whatever. Sorry, he's citing Hawk's Semitic words in Egyptian, not Hawk's Egyptian oh. grammar, which oh, I don't yeah, have a Semitic word one. I have a digital copy of that. <laughs> Thwarted. <laughs> go look that up. Hmm. I mean, if this was much older, if we were talking like Old Kingdom, Middle Kingdom, there is this, this thing about Aleph and, and R, but we're more than a thousand years after that. Interesting. We'd have to look up like, I don't know, like in, in Alan's phonology or something, if there's, if there's some kind of alternation, but what could be if it's syllable final, like if there's a vowel in between the cur and the r, and it could be basically a difference between like a glottal stop at the syllable end or an r at the, the, the syllable end, maybe, I don't know. Wow, this is an extensive book. Here, let me share. Okay, sure, okay. Can you share? I think everybody has sharing permissions. Um, yeah, I was meaning sharing a file, but yeah, I can do that too. Uh, yes, I will continue. You guys seeing anything? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what page is it? Two ninety five. Happy spawning. <laughs> la, 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 la. No way in a preview that I can jump, can I? Can you click on the number there and edit it? You can drag the scroll bar down. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Halfway. Well, we said it was what? 295. Almost there. There you go. There we go. Okay. 295. Oh, is it page 295? I guess page, page 295. Page uh, 295. So a little bit past that. Oh, or is it entry 295? Yeah, that's a good point. Thought it said page. 2014. Um, sorry, 14 pages more. Um, 24 pages more. What am I saying? It does say page. Page. So scroll the other way. Yeah, the oh, other okay. way. 30 more pages to go. <laughs> Uh, 275. We're going for 295, right? 295. Right. 80. 91. So close, 92. So close. Here we are in the queues. 295. Okay. So there it is with the lion. Boris and Seth. Also uh, written without the R. But in our text, it's not written with the lion. Did we miss something? Seven ten. That's what Lesko says. Sure. Like when they say when they say Caillou C Curry, Curry is written with the lion. Yeah, but this has a reference. Person. Horace and Seth, um, seven ten. And seven, but ten. in our text, I don't see a lion. Oh, interesting. 
There is also oh, this seven line. six. Oh, we do oh, have a lion later on. Oh, line. Do we on line ten? Um, we do on line we 10. You have oh. a lion on line 10. Because I transcribed that just last night. Hey. <laughs> and I had to find the lion or huh. guess that that was what the lion was. Alien vagabond. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh there's yeah. something about Mars and Seth. Go down a bit. Karu 2. Stranger. Yes. Oh, hey. Temporary residence in a barn. Mm -hmm. Is that the plot of Ossessione? It's been decades since I watched that movie. <laughs> but okay, yeah. Um, so what does the Rue 2 mean? Does that mean it's this is from Cuneiform or I think so, yeah. Oh. Okay. I can stop sharing. Unless anybody's reading. Don't wanna. That was pretty cool. Could you maybe post a snapshot in the first two pages in the chat later? Yeah, yeah. That'd be awesome. Hmm. Well, so we've sort of convinced ourselves that it's the same word, I believe. Could you share your screen again, Aurelio? I will. And if I can find the button. Temporarily, technically handicapped. Hang on. Share. There we go. What? Okay, so there's a cuneiform writing tool like JSESH? Uh, cuneiform, not really that good, no. I wish. I mean, there are, there's a keyboard now that you can install. Um, yeah. Cool. Which I haven't it's done cool. yet. But, but now I use the hunting, yeah. which isn't the greatest. Uh, where were we? So we had talked about this. Right there. Did we get this far yet? No, right? <clears throat> that, well, this is where you're picking up with your translation. So we got visitor. Right, okay, right, 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 right. So said to my son, um, you are Chen Chen next. So I will beat you um, and, um, and Tui, I guess, Nechem Nayud and Pekyot, and I will take the, the cattle of your um, of your father, um, and two important plural strokes, so they and they, um, and they will be with me, or I guess a bit more liberally, they will be mine. Um, Cherev, that's our, our closing quotes again from the other time, so he said, Cherev, Jed na pasheri, pasheri. He said to my son, and now comes the interesting part. Um, Ines nai, nai is to me. Ines, Ines. So I have to cheat on. What is this? Um, So they take it as it like a, she she to me like so, oh. so she said to me. Oh, this is and a double, double reported speech or triple yeah. reported. Yeah, this and her like quote. Me. Yeah, and my quote. But this is too funny. Oh my god, I got it. So Cherev Khajet and Pasheri. Thus he spoke. I mean, there's no thus here, but. Um, uh, we can infer that. So, um, thus he spoke to my my son, Ines and I. Uh, she said to me, and of course he's saying that to Reharachti. So back to the the recursiveness. We now have a what a triple reported speech, I guess. <laughs> triple reported speech. I wonder how you would do that in Japanese. There would be a lot of <laughs> lot of toes in there. Now, in any case, back to the story. Yeah, um, maybe let's do the finish up the hieratic on this one because it's coming up on the hour. The beginning is easy enough. I think we covered most of that. Except um, for the harrow. Except for yeah. the what? Oh, the Peter's an earlier question about the harrow. 
but right. yeah. And I mean, maybe it's really a very squished arm. Maybe it's who knows what that is. I'm not sure. Um, take a look at this. I thing. had a little trouble telling the saw and the sue apart, but or the saw. Yeah, man, me, too. me too. It's not That's sue, but I mean, it makes sense when I compare it with the hieroglyphs. But I had trouble figuring out which bit was which. Yeah, good point. Like that's the saw. Then there's the the vertical stroke, and then the two things with the cross on it is the the, the two reed leaves for the nen. Yeah. And then the two lines is the nen, the nn. And then we go into the normal winning. Yeah. I think the su when you have a real su, it always looks like this, like the su. It looks more like the reed leaf basically. Here's your reed leaf. Then the sewer is like a reed leaf, but with a horizontal. Um, the nun, that's a really good point because these are a bit tricky to keep apart. The nun is always like this. The nun right. is always joined like that? I think so. Unlike the double reed leaf, which basically really is like that. Sometimes yeah. it looks joined because the second, second bottom of the leaf goes into the first one, but I think they're normally separated. Yeah, what and that's always a... A diagonal line, whereas the men, I think it's pretty consistently horizontal. I think you're right. And then there's one, the 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 one sign, right? Or or im sign. Yeah. 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 I think that what looks like, like this, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. That's a bit closer together, I think. Yes. And a bit more vertical, I think, as well. More like more like this. But I think there's a there's danger of getting them confused. The the none of the or when depending on which, which reading you want to give it. Um, so yeah, this puppy here is Sa because the Sa goes the other way around. The Sa has the, the top stroke to the left, almost like a year, like a, like a rampit. Rampit, yeah. Right. But no, great point because you know, all the, these little ones, I mean, turning them apart is really not easy. Um, nah, it has to be here. Thank you. No, they're not. Oh. Sorry about that. Um, this we just talked about. Here you can see the leg better, like I said. You can see that it's like a B with an extra stroke on top. Um, Jetnef by Sherry, by Sherry. I'm wondering the other day I claimed that you start the child this way, and I still think that could be. Yeah, no, I think it is because it gets so dark down here. Simply wonder if it curves back up from the leg here instead. Like, see what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm not so sure anymore. Hmm, need to think about that. Uh, Yui, are, why is this Ken Ken? I mean, I guess it is. It's really a bit ligature, isn't it? Like the K on, on top, and then the N is just merged with the downward stroke. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. You're right. Because this is essentially Q like this. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I buy it. Makes sense. This is a bit wild. Yeah, the X with the yeah, R. The X is ligatured with the, the hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um and Nechem. Nechem basically. Nechem, the M almost looks like a giant U. Um, Nechem na yaut in pak yot or in pak yot or paik it if Egyptological pronunciation. Um, wait, it, yeah. it's there, it's just very like the eat is very squished, yeah. Right, <laughs> indeed. I mean, it's clear from context that that's what has to come here, so it makes some sense. Um, heru, di her, nef, her. Okay, that all works. Quite hard if you see anything special, but I would say this is all covered by Sherry. By Sherry. This is like some kind of abbreviated version of the A2 man. Ness Nai. Okay, Doc. Hey, we're up on the hour. Let's continue next week at 7 8. Great work. Awesome. All right.
Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Bye. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.